In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design this social media flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to do is to open Adobe Photoshop and then head over to your file tab and click on new. And then we are going to give our flyer a name. This is a social media flyer. So we're going to name it social media flyer. And then you're going to leave the rate at eight and then the height at 9 and leave the unit in inches like we do it and then keep the resolution at 300 and click on create and the next thing we are going to do is to create our margin so head over to the view click on new guide and then change the position from 0 pixels to 10 percent click on ok go back again click on new guide this time around 90 percent click on ok and let's do it for the horizontal orientation as well maintain it to 10 percent then you can also press on the enter key on your keyboard all right now lastly 90 percent and then if press on enter now the next thing we are going to do is to create our background so come see come here and then select the solid color and then we are going to change the solid color to this color right here which is 0 E00 this is the color code we are using for the background so you can go ahead and then copy the color code and click on ok now from here the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new layer so come to this guy click on it then come here and change your foreground color to this is a color code we are using then click on ok and then come to your brush tool grab your brush tool right click and then increase the size to 1400 pixels you can always choose to increase it more all right let's keep it as 1800 let's see good and then make sure you select the soft round brush under the general brushes and then let's apply it here so just like this this is once and i'm going to do it three times all right i think this is okay twice is okay and then we keep it right here good and the next thing i'm going to do is to add our shapes so come to shape two and then select rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle shape like this not too big but something like this is okay and then let's position it right here like this good and then this is the color code we can also copy the color code as well let's rasterize it and then come to filter come to blur Gaussian blur and then keep the radius at 10.0 pixels click ctrl k now on your keyboard press on ctrl plus j to duplicate all right then you're going to keep it here like this press on ctrl plus j again to duplicate and i'm going to keep it somewhere here and then let's reduce the size a little bit good this is okay for me then lastly let's repeat it again ctrl plus g and then let's bring it right here let's keep this size i keep it right here like this now the next thing we're going to do is to put all these shapes into one folder so go ahead and then put them in a single folder all right and i'm going to name it shapes good from here the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in our image so go to your folder and then drag and drop our image right here like this i'm going to reduce it all right now let's rasterize the image so rasterize layer and then come to the eraser tool and then with a soft round brush selected increase the size to 700 and then let's get rid of the edges of the picture so that we 
it becomes smooth and blends with the background image. Okay, this is good for me. Now let's click on the shape folder and then stretch it out like this. Good. Now what I'm going to do is to adjust these shapes to suit my own preference. Bring this down a little bit with my arrow keys on my keyboard and then put this right here. Awesome. Let's cheat the image like this. Good. Alright, now that we have this in place, I'll go ahead and then create a new layer again and then drag it down below the image like this and then change my foreground color this this is the color code and then click on ok and then select my brush tool and reduce the size to 500 let's see 500 will work ok and then I'm going to apply it right here once like this or twice is ok and just like you can see should be below the image we imported Alright, now that we have this in place, right click on it and then click on blending option. Alright, now come to outer glow. Right, the outer glow. Good. And then you can copy my settings because you are going to use the same settings. The blend board should be on normal, the opacity should be at 100, noise at 100, and then this is the color code for the outer glow. Let me make sure that you change this to this and then come to here and then change this to this as well but then change the opacity to zero and then keep this one at 100 click on ok and then leave the technique as softer then the size should be 250 like this click on ok good now that you have this in place, I can go ahead and reduce it like this. What I think is okay for me. Now from here, the next thing I'm going to do is to add our text. So grab your text tool. And then add your first text. Try a text box and then add your first text. Which is going to be Weekend Vibes Activated. Alright. So Weekend. Vibes that's been hit on this. Then we are going to change the font to Montserrat. Right. Thank you to that fourth thing like this. Now with the text selected, on your keyboard, press on Control plus T to transform. Right click on the text and then click on Rotate 90 degrees on um, counterclockwise like this. We are going to keep it right here. You can go ahead and then reduce the size a little bit if you want to. Then this is so big. Okay. All right. Now that you've added our text. Right click on it and then click on rasterize type, head over to the filter, click on blur, click on motion blur, and then keep the angle at 80 and then the distance at 10 pixels. You can always go ahead and then change these as you want, but I'll keep it at 80. And then click on OK. Alright, now let's add some drop shadows. So right click on it and head over to blending options. Then come to drop shadows. And then you can copy all of these settings right here. This is the color code here. And then you can copy everything that you are seeing right here. Because this is the same thing I used. And when you are done, click on OK. And you can position very well. Alright, good. And the next thing I'm going to do is to add our second test. So grab your test tool again. And then let's add our second test, which is weekend. Like this. Now I'm going to change the text to photography and increase the size. 
like this 45 is okay I'm going to put it right here let's turn off this okay all right the next thing to do is to add our text and i'm going to fast forward this particular one so i have to save more time Alright, now we have our text in place. So let's go ahead and then click on the shape tool and then click on ellipse tool and then draw a circle like this. Right, and then we are going to keep it right here. Awesome. You can always go ahead and increase the weekend text here like this root now head over to your text and then add in your last that's which is Lord. let's try the t g i f and i'm going to place it right here change the color to black and change the start to pull black sorry then we keep it here like this good now the next thing is to add some effects to our image to so select the image all right select the image head over to the image tab click on adjustments and then click on color balance so toggle the shadows uh, option here and then change this maintain this at zero and then change this to minus 35 and then keep this at zero as well and click on mid tones and then change this to plus 26 and then change this to minus 54 and then change this to minus 13 come to highlight the reason is that we want the picture to blend with the background and then the color that we are using so toggle the highlights under the tone balance and then keep this at zero and then change this to minus 23 and then change this to a plus of 8 and then click on ok good now from here the next thing is to add our final light effect or the glow effect to our image so come here and then click on this guy to create a new layer and then we are going to come here change the foreground color to this then click on ok grab your brush tool change the size to um, 1500 pixels and let's see now apply the effect to this side and this side as well all right and you can go ahead and then adjust them like this good now create a new layer again and then grab your brush tool again but this time let's decrease the size to 700 and apply the effects down here like this all right now let's shift it down also do want it showing good like this it's okay good now go ahead and then get rid of the guys that we set so go to view and then click on clear canvas guys then you can go ahead and then save your flyer now if you find this video helpful consider subscribing click on the notification bell icon so that anytime i drop new tutorials you'll get notified and you don't miss any updates you can drop your comments and also reach out to me on my instagram i'll also link that in the description of this video as well and until i come away with another video peace and stay out of trouble